weakening magnetic field is causing disturbances in Earth orbiting satellites. In an area stretching from Africa to South America, Earth's magnetic field is gradually weakening. This strange behavior has geophysicists puzzled and is causing technical disturbances in satellites orbiting our Earth. Scientists are using data from ESA's swarm constellation to improve our understanding of this area known as the South Atlantic Anomaly. Earth's magnetic field is vital, as we know, to life on our planet. It's a complex dynamic force protecting us from cosmic radiation and charged particles from the sun. The magnetic field is largely generated by an ocean of superheated, swirling liquid iron that makes up the outer core around 3,000 kilometers beneath our feet. It acts as a spinning conductor in a bicycle dynamo. It creates electric currents, which in turn generate our continuously changing electromagnetic field. This field is far from static. It varies both in strength and direction. For example, recent studies have shown that the position of the North Magnetic Pole is changing rapidly. Over the past 200 years, the Earth's magnetic field lost about 9% of its strength on the global average. A large region of reduced magnetic intensity developed between Africa and South America, and this is known as the South Atlantic Anomaly. That's a reduction of the Earth's magnetic field there. From 1970 to the year, two, well, this year, 220, the minimum field strength in this area has dropped from around 24,000 nanoteslas to 22,000, while at the same time, the area of the anomaly has grown and moved westward at a pace of around 20 kilometers every year. Over the past five years, a second center of minimum intensity has emerged from southwest Africa, indicating that the South Atlantic anomaly could split into two separate different cells. It's growing and splitting. Earth's magnetic field is often visualized as a powerful bipolar bar magnet at the center of the planet, tilted around 11 degrees to the axis of rotation. But the growth of this South Atlantic anomaly indicates that the processes involved in generating the field are far more complex. Simple dipolar models are unable to account for the recent development of this second minimum. So why is this happening? Scientists from the SWARM data, Innovation and Science Cluster DISC for short, are using data from ESA SWARM satellite constellation so they can better understand this anomaly. SWARM satellites are designed to identify and precisely measure the different magnetic signals that make up Earth's magnetic field. Jürgen Maska from the German Research Center for Geoscience says, the new eastern minimum of the South Atlantic anomaly has appeared over the last 10 years and in recent years is developing vigorously. We're very lucky to have the swarm satellites in order to investigate the development of the South Atlantic anomaly. The challenge now is to understand the process in Earth's core driving these changes. It's been speculated whether the current weakening of the field is a sign in Earth that the Earth is heading for an imminent pole reversal or pole flip, in which the north and south magnetic poles switch places. Such events have occurred many times throughout the planet's history, and even though we are long overdue by the average rate at which these reversals take place, roughly every 250,000 years, the intensity dip in the South Atlantic occurring now is well within what is considered normal levels of fluctuations. At surface level, the South Atlantic anomaly presents no cause for alarm, that satellites and other space spacecraft flying through this area are more likely to experience technical, technical mal malfunctions such as magnetic field being weaker in this region, so charged particles can penetrate the altitudes of low Earth orbit satellites. That's why when the ISS passes over this area, it turns off its camera. It goes into another mode so it doesn't have any type of damage. Now, the mystery of the origin of the South Atlantic anomaly has yet to be solved. But one thing is certain, the magnetic field observations from a swarm are providing exciting new insights into the scarcely understood processes of Earth's interior. This was from European Space Agency on phys.org, and it's on bended reality.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.